for the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So we start with the past, Queen of Wands. Now, with the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman. Now, this woman, she will have or would have had a lot of energy. Uh, usually, she's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, that could have been who you were dealing with. But when we're not referring to an actual person, this card, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. And it often focuses on work or career. So the queen is a positive, uplifting energy. Now, when it does stand for a female, a woman in your life, she's a good friend. She's 100% on your side, even though she may seem a bit self-absorbed. So if you if you were trying to conceive in the past, and this card uh, is showing up now, it it's meaning that it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So if you're trying to conceive, uh, maybe three months ago or two months ago, it's a positive sign that. Uh, it, it can happen and um, this card is paired with the two of wands now with the two of wands it would have been important for you to keep your balance in every way that you could have in the past now it would have been even to the point of mundane boring things um, boring things like eating the right foods, getting enough rest. Now, the Two of Wands, it often indicates a partnership with another person. Now, this can be, or it could have been a business, or personal, or both. The Two of Wands, it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So, in the past, if you were feeling out of balance, you should have known or you should have realized that things were about to get substantially better. You needed to keep your eyes on the prize that you were looking for metaphorically and remain or try to become positive. Now that's the past. Now we move on to the present. We have the nine of wands. Now this can indicate anxiety and worry. Being burdened and keyed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to try to take action such as deep breathing and calming down. So don't let the things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if that's what you feel you need to do. Now, at least some of the worries will very likely turn out to be imaginary, just all in your head. So try to get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Because if you think about it, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So. Comfort yourself and 
If you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. And we have this card paired with the Page of Wands. Now, with the Page of Wands, people are usually warm, ambitious, high achievers. If you're not dealing with an actual person, it can it can into I'm sorry, the page of wands can indicate the energy of distraction. So try to stay focused. Now this card indicates that things that you started some time ago. They're trying to come to life. They're trying to come to fruition. And it can also show a need for a few things, such as new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. Now, the page brings us positive energy. But we have to remember, we have to supply the follow-up. So with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Wands is about anxiety and worry. You're keyed up over certain matters, certain concerns, and it's more than likely all in your head, imaginary. You can see by looking in the, at the picture that's on the card. Um, but being that it's paired with a page of wands, um, I would say it's imaginary too because, like I said, it's paired with a page of wands and it's letting you know that things that you're trying to do previously, they're all coming to life. They're coming to fruition. Um, they're happening for you. New adventures also, new things, your new approaches and new ideals, they're all coming to life. So. The Page of Wands is letting you know that the Nine of Wands, the anxiety that you're experiencing, is definitely all for nothing. It's all in your head because, like I said, the Page of Wands, it lets you know that you were worrying for nothing and everything is happening for you in a great way. And that's your present. Now, let's move on to the challenge. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot. Now this can mean that your financial worries are over for a while. <clears throat> and basically things in general overall, they'll be going better than you thought ever possible. So make sure to enjoy this great energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. And this card is paired with the Three of Swords. Now, you could be feeling a little sad or blue because this, with this card coming up in a reading, it's an element of sorrow that is undeniable. But what lies on the other side of any type of sorrow or disappointment I say sorrow or sadness. It can be enhanced understanding and joy. That's what's on the other side of any sadness that you might be feeling now. Feeling now. So make sure to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or sadness that may come up now. So that you can move beyond it. Overall, this card can point to very deep emotional issues that must be addressed before you can move forward. So if you deny the pain, it won't make it go away. So you need to allow yourself to experience it. But don't wallow in it. You don't and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. 
However, only you can decide how long is long enough and others won't be able to, to, to decide that for you. Others will not be able to, de to decide that for you. So with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Pentacles, you'll be feeling very uplifted and encouraged. Your financial worries, they're gone for some time. But for some reason, with the Three of Swords, uh, you'll be having some type of, you, might, you may be experiencing some type of sorrow or sadness uh, that may come across you at this time, even though your finances are great. Um, and you have a lot that's uplifting you and encouraging you, but for some reason, the, some sadness or some pain will c come up your way with, like I said, with the Three of Swords. Um, but you make sure, your challenge is going to be to make sure not to stay in it and don't wallow in it. Um, because you won't be doing yourself any favors. Um, so try to focus on the Nine of Pentacles that you have because that's one of the most positive cards in a reading. And then that's your challenge. So we move on to the outcome. The Four of Pentacles. Now this card, it can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic for you. So, it's a sure, definite sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging on to and whether others are clinging on to you in an unhealthy way. So make sure to relax and just know that the Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, fear about money, and or clinging on to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. So the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security. And then we have this card paired with the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords... Uh, it's a great time for travel of any kind. It also can indicate movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually, as you can see in the picture, it's showing a change for the better, whether the context is internal or external. So think about where you want to be. Now, the Six of Swords, it show, it's showing that at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Now these things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery will be helpful. This doesn't have to cost a lot of money. So with these two cards paired together, the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to things too tight. Money, people, situations, you're holding on to them longer than it is healthy and realistic. And it's paired with the Six of Swords, uh, try to get out, have a great time, do some travel. Uh, it will help you relief, it will relieve you of some stress of grasping, uh, of worrying and holding on too tight. Uh, because you're doing that more than it's healthy and realistic 
for you. So with the Six of Swords, you just need to get out and travel, even if it's a short trip or just a walk around the park. Try to do that more often uh, to relieve some of your worries. And uh, it would help you not to think about things that you're holding on too tight to. And that's your outcome. So Capricorn, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And I thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great day.